Hi, my name is Ami Megani. Welcome to our one minute tech tip video series. Here we have an assembly that has some movement in it. So if I rotate the uh, crankshaft, everything looks good. So what I can do just to make sure is I can go to move component and I'm going to choose collision detection and I choose the checkbox for stop at collision. And then I can uh, just use my mouse to drag components around and you see the two highlighted faces where there's um, there's an interference or a collision and it will highlight it for you. So um, it's highlighted just because I have that checkbox and I'm not sure if you can hear the sound that it's making but it does make a sound as well. So that is um, collision detection. Now there's also interference detection that's on the evaluate tab. So I'll select interference detection and you can select the entire assembly and just click on calculate. You can also exclude components using this group box. Um, there are some options down below. You can say treat coincidence as interference if you don't want components touching even. Um, you can treat uh, subassemblies as components so it'll detect um, interference at those lower levels. Uh, there are some other, uh, other options here. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose Calculate. And it says no interferences. Now notice that when we did the move component, there was uh, a collision detection and interference there, but that's because it was done after moving the component. This is a check for the assembly as is. So just know that that's the difference. You know, since this assembly does allow movement, it's a, a flexible assembly. I'm Ami Megani. Thank you for watching our one minute tech tip video series.